Hello, <coughs> my name is Sot Langvet, and uh, this is, I'm going to present a paper called Geographical Distribution of Interest and Publications on Link Construction. This is a paper done by myself, uh, Frode Drevland, uh, Jarl Aruna, uh, Navras Schmutt, and La Ura Ladra, uh, all from the University of, uh, Norwegian University of Science and Technology, based in Trondheim, Norway. So, uh, establishing theories of anything, uh, analyzing the life cycle of concept, uh, concepts, emphasizing the importance of uh, uh, the concepts reach and engage to both the early and the majority of uh, its audience. Uh, a concepts uh, phase, uh, a concept that phase of this will suffer the consequences of disappearing into oblivion. It is therefore a vital for the concept's well-being to reach the majority of the, its intended audience. Uh, thus, a mapping of the prevalence of lean construction hereafter called LC could be used to assess the concept's success in reaching the intended audience. Uh, with regards to assessing the prevalence and evolution of a scientific field, several approaches could be used. Sun et al. explain three types of scientific maps based on citation. The first is the paper level citation, uh, the second is the journal level citations mapping, and the last is the category level map citation. I will not go further into the details because we have to choose another approach. Uh, the, the other approach is to examine the geographical distribution of publications based on the, uh, the national belongings of either authors or the institutions. Uh, there are several studies conducted across different fields uh, with the purpose of uncovering the geographical distribution of publications. For example, Tutarel uh, investigated the geographical distribution of academic publications within the field of medical education. Uh, and the purpose was to uncover which country were most influential within that field. So, the purpose of this study uh, academic publishing within the field of uh, lean construction is, on historical pers perspective, a relatively new phenomenon. A mapping of geographical distribution of LC related to publication does not seem to have been carried out earlier. Uh, and therefore, an assessment of the geographical, dis geograph geographical distribution of academic publication could therefore give some indicators uh, on the prevalence of the concept as a well as well as our research productivity of the individual countries' researchers. Uh, thus, the correlation between the general interest of LC and academic publication within national borders can indicate whether academic publishing affects public interest. So, uh, the research questions of this paper is, first is, where does those who show interest in lean construction come from? The second is, is there any connection between geographical distribution of the academic publications and where those who show interest in lean construction come from? So, the methodology. Uh, to measure interest, we choose to accredit academic contribution by country uh, as a quantitative measure of interest. Academic contribution are supplemented with data about general interests related to the field of <coughs> construction. Uh, web traffic in form of number, view, number of viewing sessions was chosen to, as an indi indicator of public interest. Uh, the data was spans from four primary resources. The first is the IGLC proceedings. The second is the Lean Construction Journal, and the third, the third is the viewer traffic from the EGLC webpage, and the fourth is the viewer traffic of the Lean Construction Blog. Uh, all papers from the proceedings on the journal database were registered and ranked in two categories based on country of origin. Uh, publications and authors per 10 million in evidence. The following counting system was applied. Each author in the list of authors in the abstract contributed one publication count to, the res to their respective institutions. So we have not uh, categorized authors by their place of birth, their, by, but by, by their institutional belongings. Uh, the study is limited to the use of four different... So, uh, this was considered a convenient sampling size, but authors acknowledge that they are not the only LC-related channels. 
uh, Lean Construction related articles are published in, in other channels and we acknowledge that there are other sources, web sources of related to Lean Construction. Uh, another limitation is that the data in the EGLC proceedings only include institutional affi affiliations of the authors. authors. The result is therefore that the authors do not, not necessarily represent the country of birth, but the country of the institutional donor. Uh, a potential source of error uh, is the process of categorizing authors and publications, particularly uh, for publication with several contributors spanning from different institutions. So, here is the first finding. It's a table of uh, the 20 uh, 20 countries that have published most papers. Uh, table one show, uh, table shows the top, uh, uh, shows the publication counts, not the number of unique papers uh, per country. Uh, uh, the second, the second, file, the second uh, figure shows the geographical distribution of publications per 10 million inhabitants. 48 different countries had published academic content on the subject, uh, subject of the construction. But in, figure, in the figure, all countries with a publication factor below 0 0.09 are, for space reasons, excluded. Uh, uh, countries with only zero publications but a lot of uh, web traffic was also uh, excluded. For example, Russia had a lot of uh, web, web sessions registered, but zero publications registered. So they are not uh, represented here. On that. So the next figure. Uh, figure four show the distribution of all, of all the 48 countries with the publications per 10 million inhabitants. Uh, Uh, in order to present the data, we used a logarithmic scale for both the i-axis and x-axis. Uh, this was necessary because of the large range of values uh, uh, between the, the lowest and the highest. So, in conclusion, the correlation between the general interest of lean construction and, and academic publication within the national borders is significant. The results show that there was a strong positive correlation, uh, 0 0.87, between academic publishing and sessions. But the data likewise presented cases where no such correlation was observed, for example, Russia. Uh, where do those, the first research question was, where does those who show interest in link construction come from? The answer is that the geographical distribution of publication and web traffic in some of the leading link construction channels uh, show that 48 different countries, countries have shown interest in the construction. Uh, pub publishing of scientific results from a variety of academic institutions should be seen as an indicator that the LC content has grasped a broader audience. The positive association between web sessions and academic publishing does not prove causal causality, but indicate a general relationship between, between the two variables. The second research question is, is there any connection between the geographical distribution of academic publications and where does those who show interest in lean come from? Countries scoring high in academic contribution tended to score high on web searches. On a general basis, the combination of a relatively small population and an academic institution that emphasizing on LC-related research seems to provide some sort of viral effect on the countries, country's interest in lean construction. For example, in Norway. Uh, I have just one more minute, so I'll just take the contribution and further work. Uh, a, large, a larger variety of ed educational institutions need to show interest in lean construction to sustain the process of screening LC principles. This study will serve as a foundation for further research, research aimed at uncovering why some countries are showing greater interest in lean construction than others. Uh, lean construction has a relatively brief history of research and publishing. The Lean Construction Journal and the EGLC proceedings uh, are important research channels, but LC-related publications are also published through other channels. Our suggest suggestion is to include other relevant channels in further work. Thank you.
Thanks very much. Questions?